Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. Today's video is another um, Turkish recipe. This one is the is Turkish soup izogilin or the lent, red lentil soup. And uh, a few days ago, uh, I came across this comment, and I think it was called someone Naz S K or something like that. So hi, thank you, thank you so much for stopping by and showing your support. And uh, as promised, this is uh, more Turkish content. So um, this recipe is very easy, simple. It makes for uh, an amazing meal or like, uh, usually I'd have it for breakfast at times, like my dad would make it in the morning and like I would just tag along and have like a bowl or two and it makes for like this very delicious thing to eat first thing in the morning. It's so delicious and like, um, what's the right word? Um, I don't know, it's, it's very nice and warm and um, I'd highly recommend that you guys just try it and make it because it's very easy and simple to make so I'll show you guys how to so make it. To make the red lentil soup or izogilin you're going to need uh, here we have half a cup of uh, lentils, red lentils, quarter cup of uh, rice and here we have a quarter cup of uh, bulgur and uh, where you can use short grain rice but like we already have this one and it's going to release its starch so uh, if we just uh, have uh, short grain rice it would be too starchy not to mention the lentils as well it will just be too thick you're also going to need one large onion finely chopped two cloves of garlic finely chopped as well a tablespoon of tomato paste and uh, for our spices uh, we don't have specific measurements here it's per your taste preferences so we have salt black pepper chili flakes and dried mint and lastly we have two tablespoons of olive oil you can also use butter it works either way but um, using olive oil is more Mediterranean so our first step is to take our pot over medium heat and you wait for it to heat up and uh, once it's heated you add in your olive oil and you wait for it to heat a little bit now you're adding your onion and garlic And you saute until golden brown. After reaching this color, we just add in our uh, tomato paste. So we mix our tomato paste with the onions and the, the garlic and we just mix it around for about two minutes until it all looks like a smooth paste. And right now we just boil our water. We add in our lentils, rice and uh, bulgur. Our rice as well. And lastly our bulgur. And now we just mix that around until everything is well incorporated together. to just add in our uh, hot water we have two liters here um, and we're going to slowly add it because this one is hot and the water is also hot so just be careful now we just put it on high heat until it starts to boil so once it has uh, boiled or reached boiling uh, we're just going to put it on low heat we're going to cover it and we'll let it simmer for 45 minutes so after 45 minutes, this is what it looks like. As you can see, uh, it's a little bit more thick. So now we just add in all of our spices and we mix it and let it simmer for five minutes at most. So now we're going to put the lid back on and we'll let it simmer for five minutes at most. So uh, we turned it off the heat and uh, we've let it cool down a little bit. And here is what it's like. It's very thick. Uh, if you like your soup smooth, then you can uh, blend it. But I prefer it this way. Um, I feel like it tastes much better this way because like it all just gives it some texture. And you serve it with a wedge of lemon because um, it tastes a lot better with lemon it and it enhances the flavors. So to uh, serve it, you just uh, spray some lemon juice. Mm. 
the the lemon when you add the lemon uh the flavors are a lot better than like uh when you don't add lemons because after i've added spices and like turned it off the heat i've had a taste and um uh i honestly i prefer it with lemon more than i would like without the lemon so i highly recommend that like when you make it you uh put some lemon juice on top because it will make it like taste a lot better so this brings us to the end of today's video if you like this kind of content just leave a like uh comment down below subscribe to my channel and uh follow us on instagram and facebook so you guys can support me to make more content thank you guys so much for watching and i'll see you in my next video bye